my name is Chelsea Wilson. I'm an academic advisor in the College of Education at the University of Saskatchewan. So our program is a four-year program that you can enter directly from high school. The first two years of the program, you focus on arts and science classes in your two chosen teaching areas with some education classes. We also have education learning communities where you meet with small group of education students led by upper year peer mentors. Throughout the four years of the program, we have four different field experience placements. One of them happens at the end of year two. We have two separate field experiences in year three, and then your last large field experience, which is an entire term, 16 weeks, in a school in year four. admission based on academic average and that average is made up by five high school classes. Those five classes include English 30, A or B. They include math, they include a science, and they include a social. They also include either a practical and applied arts class or a gym class or a fine or performing arts or second language other than English. So that makes up your admission average. We have five required high school classes that don't necessarily have to be used in your average, but they may be used in your average. So these five classes include English 30 A or B, Foundations or Pre-Calculus Math 30, Social Studies 30, which could be History, Native Studies, Canadian Studies, etc., a Science class at the 30 level, and a Fine and Performing Art or Second Language. Now, if you don't have all of these classes, that's okay. We do accept students often with up to two deficiencies that you can make up for once you're in the program without taking extra classes. We have a number of different opportunities for students to expand their learning. A lot of our students work on a second degree, which is typically a Bachelor of Arts degree or a Bachelor of Science degree in the College of Arts and Science. Most of the classes that you take for your teaching area one and your teaching area two, as well as your other external classes, would count towards both your Bachelor of Education degree and your other bachelor's degree from the College of Arts and Science. This is also beneficial when you become a teacher because it, it can increase your pay scale. Other options we have for classes transferring to other programs, we have certificate programs available for you as well. Some of them that you can take at the same time as your Bachelor of Education degree, and some of them that you can take after your Bachelor of Education degree. The reality is, even before COVID, there are classrooms in Saskatchewan that don't have teachers at the start of the school year. If you're willing to travel, especially to rural, Northern or First Nations school locations, you're likely to get hired on pretty easily. In terms of staying in the urban centers like Saskatoon, Regina, um, even Prince Albert, it may be more difficult to find jobs, but keep in mind your teaching degree doesn't have to limit you to just being a teacher in the pre-K to grade 12 system. You also have a lot of different opportunities. Like myself, I'm an academic advisor at the university. You can work in adult education as a youth worker, in library services, as a politician, health or recreational staff, a curriculum developer, or an in-school or out-of-school counselor, and the list goes on. We are looking for students who are passionate about the teaching profession, working with children and youth, and looking towards a bright future, becoming a lifelong learner. So on our application, we have a number of proficiencies that we're looking for. But ultimately, if you're interested in helping others or becoming a teacher in any sense, I encourage you to apply. So like I said, you can come directly from high school. You also get the opportunity to choose your major and your minor or your teaching areas as previously mentioned. We have something for everyone's interests. We also have smaller class sizes in education, um, typically no more than 75. We have great opportunities to get involved with our Education Student Society, either as a member or participating in social and academic events that are put on throughout the year. 
We also have um, other student societies, including the ITEP Student Council and SUNTEP Student Representative Council. We have education learning communities, as previously mentioned, which helps you develop a sense of community as you transition to university, and it helps you to create connections. Some of the people that you're going to school with will be your colleagues in the future. Depending on what year you are in the program, your schedule may look a little bit different, but typically classes start anywhere from 8.30 in the morning and run till about four o'clock in the afternoon. Classes are typically an hour to an hour and a half long. Some education classes are offered in three hour blocks to facilitate the opportunity for experiential learning, which means you get to go off campus and check out different locations and learn in those spaces rather than a typical classroom. Most of our education classes really encourage um, participation, group work, practicing your presenting and public speaking skills. And so ultimately you're going to have classes a lot of the time with the same students that are within your year or within your same teaching areas. We don't uh, have classes typically on the weekends and depending on if you're taking field experiences, you may find yourself in a school during the week as well. So we have a number of um, specific programs for Indigenous students. We have the Indian Teacher Education Program, which is the leading program in First Nations teachers. So that program accepts students um, every year in May, and that's a four-year program similar to what I described earlier, but with an emphasis on culture and language. They have cultural camps every year. They have small class sizes, ITEP-specific supports and instructors. We also have the SUNTEP program, which is the Saskatchewan Urban Native Teacher Education Program, which focuses on Métis culture and language with cultural field trips, um, an anti-racist, anti-oppressive focus in all of their education programming. This program is available both in Saskatoon and Prince Albert, and again, it's a four-year program. We also have um, Indigenous equity seats available in certain programs such as the Combined Kinesiology Education Program, which is a five-year program where you earn two degrees, and it's for those interested in teaching physical education at the secondary level. And again, if you have two degrees, you um, start on a higher pay scale once you get into the teaching profession. We also have um, scholarships and bursaries available specifically for um, female students, specifically for visible minority students, as well as Indigenous students. So I encourage you to apply. Reach out to us. There's a number of advisors in the College of Education Programs Office who are ready to help answer any of questions or concerns that you may have. You can contact us via email or phone, and we typically get back to you within a couple of days. Um, we are happy to answer any questions. I know coming to university can be a big step. It can be intimidating or overwhelming, but we're here to help you every step of the way. Um, sometimes you don't know necessarily what you want to do. I would encourage you to apply to the College of Education if you have any inkling that you might be interested in becoming a teacher or an educator of some sort. You can take the classes in your first year, even in your second year, and apply them to a different program if you change your mind at the end. So apply and ask questions. We're here to help and answer your questions. I think it's important to know that there's flexibility within our program. We say that it's a four-year program, and that's based on starting from high school with no university credits and studying full-time all four years. We have a number of students who work on a different plan. Some students study part-time so they can work or take care of their family or other responsibilities that they may have. So you can work with an academic advisor to come up with a plan that's going to work best for you to finish your degree. You ultimately have eight years to complete your degree. You don't have to finish in four. I also want to let you know, regardless of what program you choose, the University of Saskatchewan has a wealth of resources to support you in your first and upper years within your studies. We have access and equity services. We have student wellness programming, which is fantastic. We have 
library services and a number of libraries across campus that offer writing help, math and stats help, um, and other study skills workshops and things like that. And so we just have a really great number of resources that students often are unaware of that can make your transition a little bit easier to the university.